Hey guys, I hope all is well with everyone. So we are going to be asking about J-Hope and Tae Young. Um, will their relationship improve? And or the next question is, will they stay distant? So let's see here. Will J-Hope and Tae Young's relationship improve? Will J Hope and Tae Young's relationship improve? Also, I want to reassure everybody that I am seeing your. I do have them written down and I put them on my Facebook page. And now I can post on YouTube, so I'm trying to stay updated with that as well. So it's convenient. Okay. Will J Hope and Tae Young's relationship improve? Will J Hope and Tae Young's relationship improve? Will J Hope and Tae Young's relationship improve? So we're starting off here with the Ten of Swords. Wow. Followed by the Judgment card here. So the Ten of Swords here. There's a lot being stabbed in this person's back here. The Ten of Swords is about things that it can represent decisions that have been made. Um, words that have hurt because we have swords in the back. Um, swords represent the mind. So this is hurting somebody for sure of whatever has gone on between them. And then here we have the judgment card. The judgment card is all about rebirth, calling, because here she is with the flute and she's calling. See her animals here, the butterfly, the cat. She looks like the Pied Piper, you know, playing the flute for others to follow. But in the original judgment card, it's an angel coming down, calling those back up to heaven. At the bottom of the deck, we have the two of cups, which represents, can be friendship, a union. A relation between two people. Will the relationship between J-Hope and Tae Young improve? Hmm. So, here we have our Queen of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands, she represents feminine energy, that's a fire sign. Excuse me. Um... She's also very beautiful, um, communicates well with animals, as you can see. She's intuitive, flexible. And here with the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles represents somebody who is studious, somebody who's learning, um, could be learning um, how to get a financial gain. We're just learning in general here. Here we have Nine of Wands, which is determination. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups. Let's get another deck here. Can you tell us more here about J-Hope and Tae Young's relationship improving? Can you tell us more here about J-Hope and Tae Young's relationship improving? Can you tell us more here about J-Hope and Tae Young's relationship improving?
we put these back because it didn't feel right. Also, I think I realized that I didn't explain what the Six of Cups represent. The Six of Cups, if I didn't rep or explain it, it represents past, something that's nostalgic. Can be a child, can be representing something that happened that's childish. Okay. I apologize for not explaining it if I didn't. Can you tell us more here about J Hope and Tae Young's relationship improving? Can you tell us more here about J Hope and Tae Young's relationship improving, please? be seen but it came out and spun on the bottom angle so it came out in reverse so and the deck's always upright at the moment I do have decks that I read upright and reverse just not these guys so the ten of pentacles wow we got another ten of Nikes. the ten of pentacles in reverse is it represents something that's been taken Sometimes it represents something that's been robbed. It can also represent illness too. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Here we have the Ten of Swords next. We started out with the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords in reverse. The body is impaling on the swords. So it's like whoever is talking about this ten of swords here if it's just one of them or both of them okay it looks like either one or both have done something said something one of one of which or both that had caused some type of illness between them here we have the justice card it came out in reverse as well so, with the Justice card being in reverse, this situation was something that was injustice. On happiness here, apparently. With the Sun card at the bottom of the deck. So, whatever happened between them, whatever caused this ailment here um it looks like it's gonna be something that's really hard to get over hard to forgive okay let's see will they stay distant will J-Hope and Young stay distant Camera's blurry again. Let me see if I can fix that really quick. Man. Last time this happened. There we go. Thank you. Whew. Okay. <laughs> J-Hope and Young, will they stay distant forever? Here we're starting off with the Six of Swords. Six of Swords represents movement. Uh, can also represent travel. Um, moving away from something. We're traveling away from something. Here we have our Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords represents a female energy that is an air sign. Um, also somebody who is intelligent, um, intellect, intellectual. Um, it's also trying to make decisions. Next we have the Two of Cups, which represents a union, can be friendship, some type of union in between. The third one that came out was the King of Wands. King of Wands represents 
male energy fire sign who is somebody who is leading um, strategically planning to get to a goal of what they want to achieve um, it's slightly like the queen of swords but not exactly because he is the king and wands Will J-Hope and Young stay separated, or sorry, stay distant forever? Will J-Hope hmm. So now here we have our King of Swords here now coming out. The King of Swords is a male energy uh, air sign that is somebody who is easy at making decisions it, or at least most decisions in life um, a lot more educated on things been through a lot more than this queen of swords here next we have our ace of cups here which is a new love Will J Hope and Tae Young stay distant? Will J Hope and Tae Young stay distant? I'm not taking all of those. Take the one that showed itself to me, which was this one here. The strength card. So the strength card represents a cycle, number eight. Also strength, getting courage. Interesting. It's almost like one might want to reconcile in the future. Another eight. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups represent a path. Walking away from something to continue on your path. Will J Hope and Tae Young stay distant? Okay. It's almost like true commitment here of walking away. Because here we have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords represents true, or the truth. can also represent action, like taking a new action. The Hierophant here represents something that can be tradition. It can be also something that you are committed to, because it also represents marriage. So, I am almost sure that they are going to be like holding it as a grudge in a sense, you know. That's a shame. So there's no forgiveness, at least for now. Energies do change all the time. They do. That's why we use tarot. Alrighty. That's where I will end this one here. If you've enjoyed, please hit that like button. And if you would like to see more in the future, Hit the subscribe. Um, otherwise, you guys, until next time, I'll feed the same. Bye bye.